Established in 1861, the University of Washington became home to one of the most progressive medical schools in the nation. It was at the university's teaching hospital, Harborview Medical Center, where some of the most profound changes in orthopedic medicine and trauma care were introduced during the 1970s. Spearheading this change was a physician, teacher, mentor, and visionary named D.K. Clausen. Dr. Clausen knew change was needed to save patients' limbs and lives. Clausen modified the self-tapping hip screw and came up with a blunt nose device that he felt could greatly improve and standardize the fixation of hip fractures. The thing that we did that was actually more important than any of those things was that we realized that you, you needed to fix open fractures. It changed so quickly here because Clausen had the vision and Hansen was brave enough and good enough. He was so good that he could do this uh, and it would work out well, whereas other people might stumble with it more. So I, I think between the two of those, that's what sort of set it off. That's correct. It's exactly what it demanded. Uh, sicker and sicker patients were able to survive their acute injury to make it to the hospital. And as you say, with those uh, injuries, it required a well-developed system of working the patient up. And, you know, appropriately, what was nice was the general surgeon was always recognized as the captain of the ship. Medic One originated in Seattle and 911 originated in Seattle. Uh, Leonard Cobb was first and then Mike Kopas did most of the work. And it was the first city in the, in the country that developed this fire department based pre-hospital trained personnel that would respond to the injury, initiate care, and deliver to a single center that's dedicated to trauma. As is often said, trauma is the great equalizer. At the moment the SUV hits you in a crosswalk, it doesn't matter if you're the poorest or the wealthiest person in the world, you're hurt and you need to go someplace where they know how to, how to do it. Because trauma patients don't have a lobby. They, nobody thinks they're ever going to be a trauma patient. You're never planning on being in Harborview's emergency room at midnight on Saturday. I had a sense of great optimism for the institution. I could, I, you could sense there that there was a, a, a history and a community of innovation. Well, it's in many ways our crown jewel. It's, um, it's the thing that defines our department and our training program. It's a classic Seattle story. One wonders if it would have happened anywhere else.